Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Order of the Crimson Foot. Uh, we are about to continue here with Chapter 3, which is called Border Skirmish. Uh, I am having a lot of fun with this hack so far. I've been looking forward to playing it all day. So let's see where the story takes us next. Hopefully in the direction of Bosla. <laughs> Bosla. Anyway, <clears throat> time for the tactician, which is, funnily enough, my least favorite character in this hack so far. Funny how that works. 15 of Dayen. After the incident at the manor, we fled north. Much to our luck, our formed employer was either misinformed of our demise or simply did not care. Regardless, we kept a low profile until reaching the border regions. Upon entering the towns of Volstrok, oh, is that where Bolsla is from? Bolsla, Volstrok. Man, this. I like the names in this uh, hack. We quickly found all manners of men recruiting for an upcoming battle. The captain and the vice captain quickly set in order to find a unit willing to hire us on. The captain soon returned with news that we had been hired and posted at the rear guard, away from the battle to come. There were some complaints, especially from the vice captain, but based on the fact that they are hiring mercenaries for a rear guard position, I still expect to see action. Dun 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 This is one of my favorite themes in Fire Emblem. Remind me, why did you take this job again, Alugmus? We didn't have much of a choice in the matter. Besides, we're getting paid to lunch about, so I'm not too unhappy. Well, the battle began a couple hours ago, and it mean and it's nearing nighttime. Perhaps tomorrow we'll see action. Tch, I'd rather it happen now. Ah, don't worry. He's already mopey on guard duty, if you haven't noticed. I imagine it's a wonder you two started taking jobs at all before we met. Well, Ernst wasn't with me during the birth of the company. It was just a couple of friends from my village and yours truly. Oh, I assume they found other lots in life? Yeah, yeah, you could say something like that. Captain? Mercenaries, ready yourselves. The enemy approaches. What? No time for dallying. They have already taken the border fortress. It's time to earn your keep. Yeah, ch 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 <laughs> There goes that easy pay! At least Ernst looks happy. Also, I think it would be prudent to arrange our formations before heading out. You can't be too sure what the enemy might bring. Right. You know, I think the issue I have with the tactician is that he's so unlike me in his personality. <laughs> Did we lose them? It would appear so, but we're the only ones left. Oh, hi, that's a Dorcas splice if I ever saw one. And that... is probably a Fainy sprite? Maybe? No, no. Uh, or Shana Sprite. Gods, if only Lani was here, we could have won. Oh, look, we got green units. We were followed. God, this hack really likes that expression. Captain, it appears those allied horsemen are surrounded. Well then, let's help the green units. I might be able to get them to fight with us. Ah, yeah, green units. Okay, so it's a cease chapter. Man, this hack really likes this music. Could probably... Sp Spice it up a little bit. The boss is called Walter, a knight of Centurim. And uh, we got two green units here. Negu, really? Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that wrong. <laughs> Negu. <laughs> Come here, my Negu. <laughs> oh. And then we got Gudwolf. I am very German. I am German, Dorcas. Gudwolf. Come here, my Negu. <laughs> Uh, you gotta find joys in the little things in life. So we got more great knights, although they're called heavy cavalry. Are they not promoted? I guess they're not. Huh, interesting. Okay, so... We still got Bullslaw with us, that's great. Let's go visit the armory. You know what I want? Battle preparations, that'd be sweet. Uh, do we need any weapons? I don't think we do, do we? Uh, we already got an iron axe. So I assume... Yeah, we talked to Negu. Hey, come here, my Negu. Oh, another one. Well there, my Negu, I'm here to help. What? Who are you? We're the rear guard, here to assist you. Thank the gods, Gedwolf. We have reinforcements. I've heard this song before in The Last Promise. Excellent. Are you professional soldiers, or perhaps you are? Aligmus, captain of the Woodrun mercenaries. I see you, well, Oligmus, the company we're traveling with was wiped out to the last. Would it be possible to join forces with you? Can you still fight? If so, then by all means. Yeah, I still need to pay them back for the humiliation we suffered earlier. Looking forward to working with you, boss. Thank you, good sir. I am Goodwolf, and this is my sister, Manegu. Now then, to battle. 
All right. God, and they turn red. Traitors. Cool, a secret book. I'll probably just sell that, I think. Plus two skill isn't really that good. Anyway, let's see how uh, my Negro performs against uh, this guy. Eh, she performs all right. And get a wolf. All right, so I see. It's like you got the Cavaliers, the Light Cavalry, which is Swords and Lances. And you got the Heavy Cavalry, which is Swords and Axes. All right. Makes sense. Wonder what they promote to. Probably both Paladins? I don't know. So I assume we'll use a sword here. Yeah, much more reliable. Now this hack does swap around weapon stats from time to time, so maybe I should actually check out the different swords. Um, let's see. Seam standard. Yeah, seam standard. It's mostly the magic that gets swapped around. Also, there's houses here. I should probably visit those. Curtis, make yourself useful and visit this house. The choice between Bervinia and Centurium is a hard one. one. On one hand, Centurium's Emperor talks with the gods themselves. But when you have to worry about the Inquisition dragging you off, Bervinia's King Zinovi has been good to the common folks for some time. But the other lords and dukes treat us worse than dirt. Alright, so you got one crazy lunatic that thinks he can speak with God. And then you got another guy that- Oh my god, what's up with Mangs and low percentage crits? Holy shit. Then you got another guy who's like, sorta nice, but then his lords treat you like shit. Okay, so both are shit, pretty much. That's what you're saying. Alright. Let's go visit this house with a 12-year-old cleric. Another battle? Ha! The king of this tract land has changed three times since I've been alive. <laughs> Alright, these guys like to fight a lot, apparently. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Attacking the bull slow. How fucking dare you, man? Nobody touches the bull slow and lives. Also, Curtis, you're benched. The moment we get a battle preparation, you're benched. You didn't even level up well. I mean, it probably would have helped if I could see these guys' growth rates, but I just assume he's shit. Come on, get another low percentage crit. You know you can do it. Aw. You know, it kind of sucks that I don't have a fire tome, because those things are effective towards cavalry in this game. That'd be nice. Although, they deal like, six might, because they have three might, so it's actually not that great. Anyway, can we feed a kill to Bullslaw? Look at that, the short bow has more range. It's so dumb. Makes no sense. Also, yeah, that also makes no sense. Um, maybe we can give a f kill to Bullslaw here. Or we could always give a kill to Martell. I think that also works. Berserkers are jacked, so I assume this guy's worth investing into. Um, alright. Bolslaw. Well, we can use Aceline. Not sure how good she's gonna get, though. Oh, I see, I see a potential kill for Bolslaw here. Sorry, Aceline, but, uh... I have a better... I have a better archer in mind. Oh, wait. Fuck! No, Bolslaw! Betrayal! Shit! Alright, we can still do this. This is a really bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Alright, uh... There you go. Perfect, perfect. Sorry, someone sent me a message on Messenger. I got briefly distracted by it. I was like, okay, who's who's messaging me while I'm Let's Playing? Anyway, let's steal up the bull slaw because the bull slaw needs to be healthy. Oh, I just noticed there's a fight. You know, this is gonna happen a lot. You know why? Because I am still not used to these colors. I still think it's a douche move to turn your player units red. Because it's just so weird, because it's so unused everything you're used to with Fire Emblem. You know? I mean, at the very least, I'm fine with the enemies being purple, but couldn't you have made, like, purple and blue would have been a nightmare, but you could have made, I don't know, maybe the playable units green or something, if you really wanted to spice up the colors. Although, I have seen hacks that does that as well, and I'm not a big fan, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Not a big fan at all. Anyway, let's give a kill to, uh, Deutsch Do Dorcas. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong, right? This is Dorcas. Pretty sure this is Dorcas. It sure is. Alright. Well, my Negu is doubling. That's great. So she's the quote-unquote fast cavalier. And that Deutsch Dorcas right here is quote-unquote the strong cavalier. I feel like I'm I'm seeing through this hack pretty easily. Anyway, I got a heavy spray, so Illuminus can probably go deal with that armor knight over at the uh, lodge over there. Lodge? Ledge? Slag! Now wait, what are they called again? 
Log? I don't remember. They're, they have a stupid name, like Slag or something. Anyway, there's a shop over there that I want to visit. Maybe it sells some tomes. That'd be sweet. Alright, uh... Snag! That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Snag. Jesus Christ, thanks. Alright, uh... Gotta heal Curtis, though. Never know if that guy might be able to recruit someone one day. Alright, Curtis. Go visit the shop. Hmm. Hmm. I'll buy a heal. Vulnerary. And what more? Another Flux Stone for Manx. You never know. Probably gonna use this guy a lot. And again, I think I'm surrounded by enemies, because they're all fucking red. Anyway, guys, keep moving. This map doesn't seem too hard. There are some peg. Oh shit, I just put Bull Slow in range of a Pegasus Knight. I did not check their stats, but I assume they don't double because Pegasus Knights are usually slow as fuck because they have like negative one con. Even if it did double, wouldn't have hurt the Bull Slaw. Still wondering about that shirt bow though. Really, really weird. I really don't get it. Anyway, God, I love double effective damage. My favorite thing in Fire Emblem 7. The fact that archers can't even shoot down the units they're supposed to be able to shoot down. But, I see two armor knights there. I assume Martel can probably deal with those pretty well. They have bows. Okay. Um. Hmm. Ah, we'll just let Mangs deal with that guy. The Heavy Cavalry has a sword, so he'll most likely swap, and then Martel probably won't hit him. Now, there is one thing I'm hoping this hack doesn't have. I'm noticing a lot of forts around here. Uh, hit points, magic, speed, defense, and resistance. Still no luck, though. What is this, Manx? I'm seeing a lot of uh, forts that makes me worried about ambush spawns. This is not a super new hack, so it makes me worried. You guys know why. But so far, this hack has been rather alright. Like, it's been it's been fun to play. It's very basic, but fun. Uh, alright, so I think maybe I'll let Oligma steal with this guy. Or, I can throw a javelin. I, I still don't think this is gonna be enough, sadly. Wow, that's, uh, that's a bit of a choppy animation you got going on right there. Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Manegu will not get the job done, but you know what? It's fine. Might as well get some combat experience out of it, right? So we got two armor knights, which are probably stationary. We got this guy. Yeah, this looks all right. Ba ba ba! Come on, Curtis. So the axe knight animation has been around for quite some time. I, I think I, the first time I saw it was in Staff of Ages, but I know they weren't the one to make it up. Was it produced by Ray? I'm actually not sure. It probably... Oh, there we go. Okay, reinforcements. At least it's not ambush bonds. Thank you. Thank you. I still like this hack. There's one thing that makes me not like hacks. It's ambush bonds. I think you guys know this at this point. Magic and luck. Alright, Manx, get over here. Take on those guys from the forts. Man, Bullslaw. I'm trying hard to like you. You're reminding me a little bit too much of a regular archer right now. At least you double this guy. Ra -ba -ba -ba. Hit points, skill, speed, and luck. What? Bullslaw not leveling strength? What is this? Huh. Alright. Alright, we can ship this guy with Aceline, and then we can get the kill with Martel. I'm not sure if it's Martel or Martel. I'm just thinking like Oberyn Martel from Game of Thrones, so... Oh, come on, really? Ah. Nothing more frustrating than missing like an 80%er. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, uh, we got a heal staff that we can probably trade over. 
from Curtis. He can keep his two vulnerabilities for now. Just kind of sucks that the guy isn't able to use uh, javelins. And also, I think Aligmus really could have used a, a rapier lens. Would have made him a lot better. So I might want to rescue him out of there right now. Hit points, speed, unlock. Uh, yeah, there are Axe Knights about. Or I could just place Deutsch Dorcas in front of him. These guys probably have swords, don't they? Yeah, they do. Oh, Hand Axe? Really? Oh, that's no fun. Um, that is no fun at all. Then again, Deutsch Dorcas is pretty... Oh, wait, this guy is injured. Ooh, wait a minute. This guy has Hand Axe. You know what? I think Deutsch Dorcas can deal with this guy quite easily. Especially if he uses a sword. Because most of those guys are Axe Knights. Besides, Do Deutsch Kass, <laughs> which he is named now. Um, he'll be fine. Uh, give me a Vulnerary, if you will. Should probably use that secret book on someone, I just don't know who. I mean, it's probably better to sell it for 4,000 gold. Because honestly, like, two skill is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Like, I could give it to Martel, I guess, since he's an axe user, and axe users tend to be the most inaccurate of the bunch. We'll see. You know, my Negu's fast, but, um... Five damage to, uh, Cavaliers. Not exactly great here. Yeah, I might have overextended a little bit. I gotta find some defensive terrain, and quickly. Because this is about to hurt. Um... Oh, wait, maybe I can go on the fort. Does, uh, Deutsch Dorcas have a vulnerary? I don't think he does. Because that fort would be a very good, um... Mm. Oh, careful, Oligmus. Okay, this got more difficult pretty quickly. Alright, please tell me he has a vulnerary. Please tell- Fuck, he doesn't have a vulnerary. Uh, Negu has a vulnerary, though. Yeah, that's really bad. So, what's this? I mean, to be fair, on the fort... He should be able to survive. He gets extra defense. He does get put in range of this guy, though. So that is a huge, huge problem. Um, five, three... Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Yeah. He'll need his sword, because there are lances about. Yeah, I definitely overextended, didn't I? Let's see, can I kill this guy? Oh wow, minus one shots, great. That is all well and good. Gotta be careful though, I don't want to put Manx in range of too many Cavaliers. But yeah, I definitely overextended on the southern end there. Absolutely. I'm just gonna have to pray that Deutsch Dorcas can survive until I can get my other units over there. Huh, okay. Um, okay, that was a bit stupid actually. I could have attacked that guy with Martel. Yeah, that was definitely not the best idea I've ever had. Absolutely not. Um, this guy have a oh, he has a bow. All right, I'm just gonna stay in the Ernstin. Doesn't matter. Um, I guess Bolslav can go get the village. I mean, it's a little bit of a waste. I think maybe he's more useful over there, but I'm already up here, so why not? Yeah, just please don't send reinforcements. Um from the forts, and we're good. But yeah, I've heard that this hack does have a pretty high difficulty, so we shall see. It's always difficult to mean to know what people mean by that, but yeah, I think Fort is probably the best place for Deutsch Dorcas at the moment. And then my Negu will just have to try and ship this guy down, while Aligmas pops a vulnerary, probably? Yeah, I think that's my best bet. I'm gonna have to get the vulnerary back, though. Okay, here goes. Let's see how it goes. So, yeah, this is not good. But I think if if George Dorcas just survives this one enemy phase, which I think he should do if he, like, dodges just a couple... Come on, dude. Come on. Oh wow, he'll actually level up. This could be important. Okay, he they clear they apparently don't want to focus here. I guess they want to go for damage. Good for me though. I can't imagine the hand axe guy will hit him. 
Just dodge this. Please, there's... Ah! Okay, come on. If you level defense now, there's a good chance you survive the hand axe. If it hits you. Come on, Dorcas! Yes! <laughs> on fucking Q! That's my nigger. 68. Doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? Okay, come on. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Zero damage. Biatch. That is so weird. Why would he go for that guy? I don't get it. Oh, there's a lot of fucking Cavaliers here. Jesus. Um. Okay. Heavy spare time? No, wait. I have the heavy spare down here. Yeah. So, this is where you go back. Wow, look at... Oh, my God. This guy's... Oh, I thought I was... Again, I thought it was an enemy brigand. Because fuck colors, am I right? Um. Yeah, definitely get him out of here. Or, I mean, honestly... He's so tanky right now that... Nah, let's not risk it, shall we? Let us not risk it, shall we? That guy has very low hit points for an armor knight. 19 hit points on an armor knight. That seems kind of stupid, now that you think about it. Um, Alright, Martell has taken some damage, so... We probably want to send a Selene in here to deal with- Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Alright, Martell, you go back to heal. And... Halen will heal up Dorcas. So that should keep him safe. Negu is, uh... Yeah, I'm probably gonna put her... her oh, you know what? I can give her the javelin. I'm not sure if that's a very good idea, though. But yeah, I'm just gonna retreat her over into those forests over there. And then I think maybe... Mr. Oligmus over here. I mean, he doubles them, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, he does, but... Oh, there's no terrain for him, though. Uh-oh. Uh, this was not a good idea. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you fuck off over here. Yeah, let's just fuck off over here. Meanwhile, Manx can finish off this armor knight, and then I can possibly go and block the fort, maybe? With Ernst? Yeah, 69, I think that's probably a good idea. Let's go and block the fort, and let's place a Selene in front of Manx, because, you know, she tank and stuff. Alright, I might get through this. Now, there's a chance that one of the guys will go for, um, 69. There's a chance that one of the guys will go for, uh, Halen, considering she's in range. I know there's a Handax guy, but the damage output of these guys aren't super high. Negu, on the other hand, is... Oh, boy. This is actually not good at all. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. That's not good at all. And that level up ain't gonna help her survive. Oh, boy. Well, Manx double, though. Pegasus Knights are slow. Nope. Maybe they got more con in this hack? <laughs> yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. I have no idea how I'm gonna get out of this one. I'm gonna lose my negu. Huh. How are we gonna get out of this? Nobody's gonna save her. Yeah, she's not even on a forge. She's not even gonna get healing. This was stupid. Is there any way we can get out of there? Can maybe... Can Deutsch Dorcas reach, maybe? Um... Do we have a javelin or, like, anything here that people can use? Not really. Yeah, Negu, you're gonna die, and I'm gonna lose my secret book. I'm guessing it's a restart, then. I am guessing it's a restart. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to lose any characters early on. We'll be right back. Uh, uh, Alright, I restarted and I decided to move my guys up here. And holy shit, the shit just hit the fan quickly on this one. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, uh, all of these guys just came charging at me at the same time. And I was like, it's fine, because I'm not split up anymore. But then I realized, holy shit, this is gonna get hectic pretty darn quickly. So, oh boy. Um... Okay, so Negu is injured, 
Bolslaw. Oh, wow, look at that. Bolslaw actually one-shots this guy <laughs> and crits to boot. Wow, that's just fucking fantastic. Good job, Bolslaw. Um, strength, skill, speed, defense, resistance. That's a much better level up. Much better level up. So yeah, the issue here is that you don't really got much in the way of anti-cavalry weaponry. I think this is probably intentional. I mean, there's like no horse slayers or anything. But I'm definitely gonna use Ernst here. Just because he is one of the only guys that can actually reliably deal damage, aside from Manx, and not die. What? What's up with the low percentage criticals all of a sudden? What the hell? Um... So yeah, it looks like I'm dealing with it a little bit better this time around, though. Also, I forgot to turn on their animation. Slow. Bomb. Ba da na 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 na. Yeah, so it looks like I'm better off. Again, not splitting up my forces this time around, so there's not really any point in going south. It's just risky, really. Ugh, again, trying to attack one of my own units. This is gonna happen a lot in this let's play. Also, apparently something that's gonna happen a lot in this Let's Play is Martel fucking not being able to hit shit. Ah. Um, okay. I just noticed that, um... Yeah, this is getting kinda tricky. Oh wow, really? Holy shit, okay. This guy's got three health left. Um... I'm gonna have to do something here. Uh, I need a vulnerary or something. Anyone got a vulnerary? Anyone? Oh shit, there's a guy. Oh, he's running away to heal. That's why. Martel is in danger now, I think, because this guy can kill him. So maybe I should just rescue with Negu and then run to the fort? I think that might be the best solution, actually. Uh, Bolslaw is also in a bad way, but he's on a fort. If I can get rid of this guy, which I can, if Curtis, Curtis, this is your- No! Curtis! Okay. You're benched. You're fucking benched. Alright? You're- you're so fucking- Oh my god, Curtis. Oh my god, Curtis. Oh my god, Curtis. You know, I don't- no. The only thing that I can hope is that by injuring them, I'm triggering their, like, runaway mechanisms. Which might be the case. Or they're just gonna kill my soldier. Oh my god, are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, that's a that's another restart. Alright. Here we go. <sighs> be right back. Okay, so this time I was a little bit more careful and I pulled them in one by one. Also, I decided to give the secret book to Martel because he keeps missing all the fucking time. Um so yeah, let's see if we can do it a little bit differently this time around. Like, draw them in, and then kill them off, hopefully. That's that's the idea. Yeah, this map is a uh, li little bit harder than I expected it to be. It's like creepy, creeping difficulty, like, because here's the thing, your units aren't exactly strong, so enemies are a lot more scary. They're, they're, they're pretty bulky compared to what you might be used to in a Fire Emblem game. Well... I'm playing Path of Radiance Maniac mode, so I really shouldn't complain. But still. Anyway, Martel, get some strength and speed and skill, my boy. Eh, I'm fine with this too. And then I'm just gonna use Erds, because I'm tired of these guys. <laughs> Literally, I am very tired of these guys. Oh boy. Yeah, looking forward to the next map. I feel done with this map now. But hey! People said this hack was gonna be difficult. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain at all. Yeah, I'm gonna complain a little bit, because it's what I do. Just a little bit, though. Just one horse slayer would've been nice, you know? Just, just the one! Oh, you know what? You know what? Now that I think about it, it's a good chance you might get a horse slayer in the village over here. That would not surprise me at all. Hey, what's Negus Lion's rank? Oh my god, E rank. Fucking hell. I love it. My favorite kind of rank. It's the rank of fun, where you can do so many cool- Oh, he's gonna miss. Yup, he's gonna miss. He's gonna miss twice, isn't he? Nope, okay, he's not gonna miss twice. Cool. Cool. 
Also, one thing that I discovered was the fact that almost nobody in my starting crew has vulneraries. Like, literally. There's so few vulneraries here. Um, oh no. And that really uh, screws me over, because you expect to be able to heal up, you only got one tiny healer, and nobody has fucking vulneraries. So I went and bought a bunch of vulneraries. Because, you know, that's probably a smart thing to do, you know? So yeah, let's use the skill book on Martel. There we go. It's like, what, 4% hit? It's not fantastic, but it helps, doesn't it? Uh, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna make a little cut right here, because I've already done this part before I got owned. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so, I placed uh, Deutsch Dorcast on the fort right here. He's gonna deal with these two guys. You know, it really annoys me how all the cavalry have both swords and axes, or swords and lances. It makes them really hard to deal with. Like. Sure, enemy cavalry is always tough to deal with, but the fact that they can always weapon triangle you makes them a lot harder. Especially considering I don't have hand axes or any sort of anti-horse equipment. Also, that guy has 1% on crit and Curtis. Who I'm still not sure if I'm gonna use or not, although I like to say bench Curtis, because he's a fucking soldier. Okay, anyway, let's go visit the village with Martel, because that's what he does, right? He's a brigand. I came to warn the village, but is everyone already inside? Hey, you. You better not be thinking about raiding this village. Uh, what? What? No, I came to... Was it? I ain't believing that. Scream or I'm gonna gut ya. Rorik, calm down. It seems these people came to help. Huh? Uh, fine, whatever. I'll be getting more ale then. Forgive my partner. We were hired to protect this village. It was good for you to come and warn us, though. Here, take this as a token for your efforts. The area around here tends to get covered in a thick fog, so you'll probably need it. They were giants. Yeah, they're also gonna be future playable characters, because they got portraits. But of course, we already knew that. Okay, so now it's just the boss left, and whatever bullshit reinforcements this map decides to throw at me. Skill defense, yay. Best archer level up. Uh, maybe we can just send, uh, yeah, let's go visit the house, shall we? Normally, Sentry uses Pegasi, but up north we have the Drakes. I really wish I could see a majestic Pegasus in my lifetime. Wyvern Knights are much cooler, kiddo. You'll only get disappointed if you see Pegasus Knights. Trust me. Okay, that, that's actually a pretty, that's old Mangs coming through here. Old nostalgic Mangs coming. Pegasus Knights are good units. I used to think they were bad. They're not. They're really good. Hit points. Oh, wow, magic. Ooh. Well, he is a mage, so... <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was dumb. I was like, oh no, magic. Okay, I'm not playing Father Radiance anymore. It's actually good to level magic on a magic unit, Manx. Jesus. Alright, Curtis, you get a second chance to redeem yourself. Will you be benched? Okay. That's definitely about a level up, Curtis. You have redeemed yourself, my son. Okay, so I assume Manx is going to be the best way to deal with this boss. Just seems like the proper way to go about it. Can maybe shoot an arrow at the guy. This guy doesn't seem that strong. What the? You lot still had troops? No matter, I shall be the one to crush you! <laughs> hey, what's the throne bonuses on this, uh, in this hack? Yeah, it's Fire Emblem 7 style. Alright. I wonder if this guy has a boss conversation with, uh, Aligmus? Okay, what's up with the RNG in this game? Have they, like, coded in single RNG just to fuck with the player? That'd be a dick move. Might have to bring in Ernst. Speed. Fucking lovely. Yeah, I'm just gonna occupy the forts, just in case, you know? Manegu, maybe you can get the boss kill. So I got him to use his hand axe now, which is probably a good thing. Probably means I'll be able to hit him easier if he doesn't have the con to wield it, which he probably does. Oh, actually, no. 2 minus 2 speed. Ah, look at that. Perfect. Bum, 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 do 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 bum, 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 and he goes down. How could I, the generic Walter, with no redeeming character traits, lose so easily? 
Ah! There you go. Captain, the men report that we've cleared the castle of stragglers. It seems we're driven them off. Excellent. Now we just need to wait for our pay. Think we can get we'll get a bonus for this? Most likely not, and asking might get us less. Oligmus, Manx, come over here now. You must have found somebody. Or someone found us. This guy showed up screaming for reinforcements. Oh no, shit, it's a generic soldier. What shall we do? Are you the leader? Yes, I am elite. There is no time. My unit was ambushed after following the enemy. They That broke through. We need help immediately. Wait, how can you be certain they're still alive? Wouldn't it be better for us to just hold this castle? But, uh, the reinforcements! Uh, I'm gonna skip my dialogue. We'll have my head if he makes it before... Wait, Lord? Ernst? Question mark, question mark, question mark? Yeah, easily. Well, lad, you can keep your head. You've just found your reinforcements. Captain! Manx, this is a golden opportunity. You may be skeptical about this, but heroically saving the day not once, but twice? I will certainly earn us something spectacular. I only concede out of the fact that the defeat of the Lord might lose this both might l lose both this battle and our pay. Soldier, where are the reinforcements needed? So south, in the forest, about half an hour's march. Then we shall make it in half that time. Move out! Did I just unlock a Gaiden chapter? All right, the the, the journey continues. The the quest to get paid. <laughs> That's essentially the the story so far. But hey, it's a simple hack. It's a nice hack. It keeps me entertained. It makes me a bit nostalgic. I'm still enjoying this. So I hope you guys are too. Give it a like and a comment if you are. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.